actress and a landscape designer and award winner. He's an author of a book that you can find on QVC right now with 35 five stars, all five star reviews. Thank so you. it's really an inspiration. Uh, we are inspiring you today to plant your garden. Yes. And you are reserving all kinds of things. We came back and you do explain the humdinger. The humdinger is the longest blooming of all the perennials that we sell. And I keep talking about perpetuals. Uh -huh. This is one of them. <laughs> Nonstop blooms. And really? I use it all the time. If I've got uh -huh. an area of my flower border and invariably there will be something where something didn't work. I stick this in because it is beautiful fluff for the garden that doesn't stop. You know how you get a package and it's got all the different kind of colored uh, tissue paper down in the bag yeah, 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 yeah. to make it look really uh -huh. pretty. This is like that colorful tissue paper in the top of the bag. It gives that look to the garden. It draws your eye in the big splashes of color, but a real watercolor look for the garden. It looked gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Six individual plants you're yes. gonna get, and that's what you see in front of us. Right. Two months to pay for it at $21.75. And if you're joining us for the first time, we welcome you. This is all from Cottage Farms. This is an opportunity early enough in the season while we still can reserve yours. You don't pay for anything until it actually is shipped and it's not shipped until it's time to go in the ground. Correct. Exactly. I have to say, how do you say this? I got my mustache, Augusta. Oh, well, no, you do not have a mustache. Do I mustache? <laughs> How do you say Agastas? Stachy? Agastash. 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 It's a, it's a beautiful, it's, doesn't it sound like a ballerina's name? Okay, oh, Agastash. here's Lady Agastash taking the stage in Swan Lake. I think I may watch that. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Butterflies, hummingbirds, drought tolerant, and deer proof. <gasps> Another one. All right. Another one. Now, you know the reason that Philip is particular to that because the deers love to visit his yard. If oh I was my a deer, gosh. I would too. I saw Bambi so, and that was enough. Uh, <laughs> it was quite enough. They have, they really took out my garden this year too. So I'm definitely keen to the deer resistant, rabbit resistant. And speaking of keen, you see this mm -hmm. color right here. You yeah. know the Maria Stern rose we had? Yeah. This oh, is very similar oh, color and this one's pretty. called peachy keen. Oh, nice. How you like that? Uh, I like it. Just absolutely yeah. gorgeous. And by the way, mm -hmm. what I'm showing you, if we can get a big view, show the whole thing, this is what you get. This is a big, big collection of perpetual perennials, nonstop blooming. The rabbits won't eat it. The deer won't eat it. Great, great cut flowers. Mm -hmm. Woo! Yeah. I mean, and look how they stand up. You don't have to stake them. You don't have to no. worry about that. Look at all the color you're going to get. Yes. And I keep thinking because we've had so many things that you could mix and match. The cone flowers. Yes. Could you do that? The cone flowers would be great with this mm -hmm. because these are about the same height. And it's, you can okay. mix, mix them in with all of that. We also got mm -hmm. a, a collection of annuals call, coming up called Healing Waters, which are beautiful. And oh. I, we may drag those over there you at want some me to point. to go get them? But We'll, we'll yeah. get them in a minute. Okay. But I tell you what I love about these is that they are foolproof because I'm telling you the deer were eating everything up in my garden and I thought, okay, I have to have kind of boring plants back there. Then these things came along yeah. and the butterflies are on it. In my book, I've got a picture of a butterfly that I was able to get really close to and guess what plant it was. What's it on this one? It was the Agastache because there's the peachy keen. Oh, the butterflies wow. are so interested in these flowers. Get your camera out. I don't care if it's just a camera phone. That's oh. the color I had that the butterfly came in on. Oh, it was so beautiful. So I got great shots of that. And the more time you spend in your garden with your camera, the more time you can be spending in your garden just enjoying it. And there you can see that tiny little picture will be the six pots that you're going to get. We'll show you um, yes. in a second so you could see it better. But you've selected the colors. That's the other thing. You know, I, I'm a willy nilly, like what goes with what and what color. The other advice I remember you gave me years ago was take a look around, not only around my neighborhood and visit the, I'm very lucky we have a very pretty garden, um, not a garden center, but gardens of someone very wealthy yeah. um, who lives down the road. Um, so I could get ideas there, but you put the colors together. I did, and I put it together because I love, these are Easter egg colors, mm -hmm. and it looks like springtime all of the mm -hmm. time. These bloom all the way to frost. These come back every single year. The plants that come back out to you are this big. Believe it or not, they're going to bloom their heads off this year. This year. This will have blooms like crazy. 
the beginning of the second year, next year, yours will be this big and have this many flowers. But this first year, you're gonna have tons and tons of flowers. I kid you not. Plug it in those holes you've got in your daylily bed. They're great in containers. And this representation is what you can expect for years to come. Line your driveway, line your pathways. Oh, beautiful. Uh, plant it around yeah. other things. Container. And great in containers because these are so cold hardy. I see these again in Aspen, Colorado. Really? It's very cold there. I see these in Mississippi. Very hot there. So it's one of those great, great plants. It's this is what I like to say too. It, look, mm -hmm. it looks like the nuts and the bolts because of all the things that it does, but it really is the bells and the whistles. I because like it. the, it's beautiful, it's melodic, and it's, it's a great problem solver. It is very eye catching. If you yeah. don't have a whole lot of the color. The whole thing. All right, so let me take you through this. Full sun to partial shade. Full sun to partial shade, you how, got it. How often am I watering? Um, I keep mine evenly Water. moist, okay. but then after that, but they how become do you do that? That sounds all good, but how okay. do you keep it evenly moist? I give them a good soaking watering about once a week. Just once a week? Good soaking water. If they're in a container, uh -huh. twice a week. Okay. Well, that's yeah. not so hard. How many times do I need to fertilize this? I fertilize mine about once every two weeks for our bud and flower booster. Okay. And that's pretty much it. No pest. You don't have to spray for anything. If you're mm -hmm. somebody who hates to use chemicals, mm -hmm. this is a good, good plant for you. Also, Another thing we've got coming up are the butterfly bushes. Mm -hmm. Plant <gasps> these in front of your butterfly oh, bushes. Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna pick uh -huh. one up right now. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, we yeah. got these coming up. You got your agasash. Ooh. Ooh, child, if you got these planted Ooh, behind how it. How pretty. Gorgeous. That'd be gorgeous. Eight minutes butterfly bushes. We're gonna get to those in eight minutes. Let me finish up the humdingers though, the agasash. Yes. So we learned Beautiful today. Agastash. M43643. Two easy pays of 2175. Using your cue card, then you can bump it up to three easy pays if you'd like. And if you don't have a cue card, this is the month to do it because we're going to give you that extra little bonus. Once you get approved, we send you for future purchase a $10 cue card. Can't beat that. Oh, don't eat the daisies. Let's talk about.